Okay. So let's kind of understand what do you mean by preference shares? Okay. So the share capital, as I told you in the earlier videos, is classified into two categories. Preference shares and equity shares. Now basically, preference shares, as the name itself suggests, have certain preferences. Right? Now you must be wondering, what are the preferences which are available to the preference shares? Basically, preference shares are entitled to a fixed rate of dividend. Okay. So what happens is that they get a fixed rate of dividend or they are having a preferential right to dividend. Now what does this mean? Let's say a company had profit of rupees 100,000 after paying off everything. Now in a company normally the profits are paid to the shareholders which is the preference shares and the equity shares. Now when this 100,000 has to be divided depending on the terms of these preference shares. Let's say the preference share says you will get 6% fixed dividend. So then what will happen is that out of and let's say the preference shares are worth rupees 10 lakh. Okay. So 6% on 10 lakh becomes 60,000. So they have to get an annual dividend of 60,000. Right. Now what happens is that while they were entitled to this fixed dividend of 60,000, the company made a profit of 100,000. Now this 100,000 is not going to be divided equally amongst the preference and equity shares. Let's say they had a fixed rate of dividend of 6%, then first 60,000 will go to the preference shareholders and the balance 40,000 which is left will go to the equity shareholders. Why? Because they have a preferential right over this dividend. Now this could be a fixed rate of dividend or it could be you know a minimum rate of dividend. Now suppose instead of 100,000 this was only 50,000. Then also their right is preferential. So they will get this entire money and nothing is paid to the equity shareholders. So they have a preferential treatment insofar as dividend is concerned. Second thing is that suppose the company goes into winding. Winding means that the company is unable to perform the business for which it is set up or it has made losses and the shareholders or the creditors decide that the company should no longer work. So winding up means closing down. So when the winding up happens, and you will study in more detail about this as you move in your career towards accounts and all, what happens is that whatever money the company realizes, let's say the company sold off all its asset and got 10 million. The creditors and liabilities, let's say, were 5 million. And then they were left with 5 million. Okay. Now out of this 5 million, the order of payment will be first the preference shareholders will be paid. So they have a preferential right to get their money back vis-a-vis -vis equity shareholders. Now in our, my example it was only 1 million so absolutely there is no issue. They will get their entire 1 million back and 4 million will go to equity shareholders. In case this was let's say 6 million then what would have happened is this entire 5 million would have gone to preference shareholders and equity shareholders will not get anything. So this means that basically in terms of payments they have a preferential right in terms of winding up vis-a-vis -vis the equity shareholders.
now the equity shareholders what what is the class they are the residuary one they take the maximum risk an equity share in companies act is defined as the share which is not a preference shares so if you have all these rights you are a preference shareholder if you don't have these rights then you are a equity shareholder okay so these were the two types of shares classification which is there 